I broke my my girlfriend's vibrator the other day, and that does sound like a, somebody all that is. <laughs> I remember my and that does sound like a ghost because I feel like all male sexual ghosts are very like they're about destruction and DIY, aren't they? They're like a banger, a screwder, I applied a glaze. And I, <laughs> so you're back from my uh, But I genuinely did break a vibrator and it wasn't in a cool sexual way as well. It literally I was doing laundry and it fell into the wash basket and I didn't realise until the washing machine started and I just saw it tapping against the glass. <laughs> I felt really sad and pathetic, and I was like, I can't do anything with that, I can't stop. The wash has started, it's begun. It's fucked now. It felt like it was on one side of a fence and I was on the other, like the boy in the chrome pajamas. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like as a, a modern man, you do kind of have to have some sort of relationship with your partner's sex toys, right? Because, because when I was younger, I used to see them as rivals. I'd be like, oh, fuck it. I'd be like a buddy cop thing. I'd be like, I'm not working with that guy. <laughs> As I got older, I was like, actually, if we work together, we can accomplish greater things than neither of us could have separately. You know? and that's why when I saw that little vibrator tapping against the glass, I felt like I'd lost a friend, <laughs> nay, a brother. Uh, which I don't know what that says about my relationship with my brother, but um, on the plus side, her vagina is now whiter than white. <laughs>